uh, now if you notice that when we visit our blog uh, landing page that's if i click on this title now it should take me to my landing page the landing page is talking about when they enter your blog address in the address bar the first page is going to open which is your landing page and that is this one we have here now if you notice my post is showing the full content while the second post too under it is showing the full content this is not the way your blog should look like at first at first instance it shouldn't show the full content probably to show the title the image and a few content just to appetize them then after which there will be a read more option under it so the same thing apply to this one and if you have like 10 posts that's the way they should display but you can determine where your read more option will be so how do we achieve something of that nature all you have to do is go back to your control panel your blog control panel then in the control panel you go to your list of blog uh, your blog post so all i will do is to click on the one i want to edit i'm clicking on this to open it for edits now it will take me back to how i actually uh, enter the post so for me i can edit it so how do i create that read more option uh is by making use of this particular icon they call it insert jump break that is where your that is what you will use in adding your read more option so where do i want the read more option to be so after reading the first two paragraph i want there to be a break there so that means i'll place my cursor exactly where i want the break to be and i'll click on that break so that is where the read more will be so that means there will be a read more here so that when they click that's when the full content will now take it to the, another page where you have the full content of the uh, post so let's see how that one work i'll just click on update we went to update that go to your blog and refresh so let's see what we have there so by the time it's cold and you notice this now it's not showing in full again now exactly where i added the break that's where it is now if you check the second you see that it's still showing in full because we have not edited that so with this i have here now this is the way i want my blog to look like so i'll click on read more now so it's going to show me the blog separately in a different page so in that page i can then comment as a login user i can comment on the blog i can say one or the other if i want to go back to the landing page i'll just click on the title it takes me back to the landing page now i have this so i want this one to be just like that so all i have to do is go back to my control panel open the second post then I will place my cursor exactly where I want to create a break. I want to I want to create a break here, just like in the first case too. I want two paragraph to be available for readers. So insert jump break. Then I'll click on update. So I think that's what I want. So this one to have the jump break. You can see now it's looking more like it. So if I had another one now, you keep having them, but you can always break them out the way you want them to display so that your post will not display in full it is when they now click on read more that the full posts will now be displayed so you see what we have there that is just how to add the read more option all right um, with what you have here now you have a perfect blog uh, blog is not actually more than this and if you can create it up to, up to this level then congratulations you're already a blogger because what it takes to actually blog is basically log into the bloggerspot.com, post a blog and be able to, you know, edit it, add your read more and so on. That is basically what it takes most of the bloggers because they get the news, upload it online, get the news, upload it online. They might not necessarily be the one that will even design the blog. But now, let's look at another option. Let's assume we want to change this heading. We want to replace it with a logo with the logo of the blog that we have prepared somewhere now we have to go back to our control panel then under the control panel you might notice some information coming out after reading them you can just close it so that it gives you more working area to work with so you just close all those uh, information that is being displayed now with what i have here now if i want to add the logo what i need to do is to come down to my layout session so if i click on layout it's going to give you the layout of your page where we have the nav bar we have not make use of the nav bar we have the header section that is where the type 2 of your blog is displayed this is the header section and also we have the cross column we have the main page we have the sidebar 
we have not make use of this one and this so we have the main page this is where your blog post will be posted and these are the sidebar which are what we have here we are going to look at that then also we have the footer section so under the footer section is where you have all this your footer uh, information so we are still going to look at that now coming back here I want to change the logo which is usually here in the header section so I will just go to that header then I will click on edit so in the edit section you can actually change your blog title from here if you want or you leave it that way and you can add a description so if I have a description for my blog all I have to do is to put it there I have a description already I will just go for it that's my description I will basically type it there or I go and copy and paste it this one will improve your SEO ranking the search engine optimization because with what you have placed here this will actually you know be indexed in the Google as well so we have um, the image that you want to use is it from the internet if it's from the internet it pays the URL here if it's on your computer you select this first one and click on choose file now this is the logo I want to use I already have it design uh, if you don't know how to do this you might need to employ uh, the service of a graphic designer to help you with that logo or you can go online and use all this online free logo maker to create your logo so after you upload it's going to load then how do you want the logo to be placed so look at the logo there how do you want the logo to be placed you have to choose the option behind the title description or you want it to replace the title and description or you want to have the logo and the title and description after the image meaning under it you want the title and description so let's look at the three options and see if I select this one behind the title and description, click your save. Let's see what the effect will look like. I'll simply switch back and I'll refresh this. So look at that behind the title and the description. That is what the option I choose. So I can go back there. I will say no. I want it to be instead of the title. If I click on save, I will refresh that and see what the effect will look like. So you can see the title and description disappear. No, it's just displaying the logo. This look better. But let's look at the third option too, and see if that will work fine for us. Save. Then after doing that, I'll come here and refresh. So look at that. If I want my title and description to be there, then I want the title and description under it. I can leave it this way, and then just make use of that as my uh, header option. Okay, guys, with what I have now, I might feel the background I have here is not really representing what I'm doing because this is showing a farm or let me say a forest. But I want a football pitch at the background of what I'm doing so that it represents a football because the news we are displaying here are basically for football. So, how do I do that? Go to my control panel, click on your team. So, under the team, you have option to customize the team though you can change your team to another one that's the look of your blog by simply choosing from this option you have here but i still want to maintain the option the team i've chosen so i'll just click on customize beside it so it takes me to the customization option so here you have option to change the background to change the width of your blog you can see the size of the blog i can actually make it a bit bigger because if i feel that is smaller i can make it wider a bit more or make it smaller so whichever option that you that will suit you so and uh, you have option to actually adjust the sidebar too if you want to make it wider or smaller so those options are there for you so but i think it's okay that way i'll come up to my background then this is the background we have there presently i can remove it okay now after the remover so i'll just select click on the none to give you a pop-up now the pop-up is asking you to choose another background that you might want to use so I can use any of these that's under the abstract we have the arts we have the business so if your blog is business based you might need to use a background from business or if it is about partying you can use celebration if it is about um, nature you can go for nature here yeah, and choose a nature background uh, if it's about science but what we have is I think about recreation so if you have a football pitch there like what we want to use you can actually go for it but I can't find a football page that really uh, fits in what I want. So I'll basically upload another one myself by clicking upload here. So just click on choose. 
then you select the football kit you want and click on open so that will basically upload make sure you choose a very big uh, file as in in width in types of width and height so that i can actually cover the necessary areas so i'll click on done so the moment i do that if you scroll down you will have seen that the football page will have applied but if you notice okay let me just apply it go to my page and refresh it let's see what we have now you can see it's already applying but if you notice the football pitch is cutting here as i scroll down it's scrolling with it i can choose an option that would not allow the scrolling so by simply coming back to my control panel beside after you have chosen the background you can actually change the alignment too you want it at the center you select center alignment it's going to move the image to the center of the page and the tiles is talking about do you want it to tie as in like in this repetition we have here if i don't want it to tie i'll basically select and say no don't tie so don't tie means after this first one i display the second one should not display so let's make use of the tile option and here it says scroll with image instead of scrolling with image i don't want that i'll simply remove that option so if you scroll down now you see the background is not moving with it so i think that's what i want i'll apply after applying come back to my blog and i'll refresh so if you scroll down now the football pitch is showing as a background and then it's not if you zoom out your area you will notice the football pitch will show much more by zooming out so it depends on the resolution of your screen that determines what level of the background that will be visible to user if you view it on your phone you'll be able to see more of the background and so on so that is basically how to change the background of your blog and uh, you can do much more